the Battle of Seoul was fought on September 22, 1236, between the Livonian Brothers of the Sword and pagan Samogitians. Between 48 and 60 knights were killed, including the Livonian master, Volquin. It was the earliest large-scale defeat suffered by the orders in Baltic lands. The Sword Brothers, the first Catholic military order established in the Baltic lands, was soundly defeated and its remnants accepted incorporation into the Teutonic Order in 1237. The battle inspired rebellions among the Curonians, Semigalians, Salonians, Isalians, tribes previously conquered by the Sword Brothers. Some 30 years' worth of conquest on the left bank of Dorgava were lost. To commemorate the battle, in 2000 the Lithuanian and Latvian parliaments declared September 22 to be the day of Baltic unity. Background The Sword Brothers were established in 1202 in Riga to conquer and convert pagan Baltic tribes to Christianity. The order was in conflict with the papacy under Pope Gregory IX and the Holy Roman Emperor, two of its biggest supporters, over Estonia. However, on February 19, 1236, Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bull declaring a crusade against Lithuania. Volquin targeted Samogitia, planning to conquer the coast of the Baltic Sea and connect with the Teutonic Knights in Prussia. The Sword Brothers wanted to keep expanding along the Dorgava River and was somewhat reluctant to march against Samogitia. In fall of 1236 a party of crusaders arrived from Holstein, it demanded to be led into a battle. Volquin gathered a large war party, which included troops from PSKOV Republic, Livonians, Latgalians, Estonians. Events of the battle The knights marched southward into Samogitia, raiding and plundering local settlements. The locals had only a few days to gather troops for defense. On the knights' northward return, however, they encountered a determined group of Samogitians at a river crossing. Unwilling to risk losing their horses in the swampland, the Holsteiners refused to fight on foot, forcing the knights to camp for the night. The next morning, on the day of St. Morris, the main pagan forces, possibly led by Duke V. Kintis, arrived at the camp. The Lithuanian light cavalry flung javelins at short range, which were highly effective against the unwieldy Livonian heavy cavalry. The swampy terrain was advantageous for lightly armed pagans. The slaughter of the Christian troops, including Volquin, sowed the seeds of confusion in the Livonian ranks. The lightly armed native forces under the command of the brothers soon fled from the battle. Those crusaders and knights who tried to flee to Riga were allegedly killed by the Semigalians. Location The exact location where the battle took place is unknown. The Chronicum Livonii by Hermann de Wartberger mentioned that the battle was fought in Terum Soliorum. Traditionally, this was identified with Siolari in Lithuania or with the small town of Exol near Boskar in what is today southern Latvia. In 1965 the German historian Friedrich Benninghoven proposed Jornian A village in Jonaski's district, Lithuania as the battle site. The theory gained some academic support and in 2010 the Lithuanian government sponsored construction of the memorial in Jornian A, a 29-meter tall, sundial, a pond, and a park of oaks. The village of Pamusis, situated some 10 kilometers east of Janorane on the Musa River, also claims to be the location of the battle. Saul, Saul means the sun in both Latvian and Lithuanian.